Hey everybody, we're out here at Auburn Oaks Farm and today we're gonna to be introducing fetch. First, I'd like to start off by saying we're not gonna put a timeline on this fetch process. Timeline is completely dependent on the individual trainer or handler and the individual dog. I'm not gonna give you two weeks to get to here, three weeks to get to here, four and five weeks you should be here. That's not the mindset I want you to have. Everybody needs to go at their own pace because everybody is gonna develop a little bit differently. Instead of a timeline, I want you to use consistency as a determining factor on when to move on. Once your dog becomes consistent with one part of the process, then you can move on to the next part. Just like the rest of our training techniques, our fetch process is very hands-on. We like to manually teach the dog what to do and how to do it. And when we're working with dogs' mouths and teeth and our bare hands, you wanna get yourself a pair of leather gloves. So I'm gonna pop mine on right here and we wear these not because the dog's gonna bite us, but it's because if our bare skin gets pinched in their teeth, it can be very painful. So having a layer of leather in between the dog's teeth and our hands is very, very comforting. So you may be wondering right now, leather gloves, hands, what are we about to do? Well, before we get to any fetch bucks or bumpers on the table, we like to teach with our hands. And we're gonna get our partner Blazer out here and show you how to introduce your dog to the fetch process. Now we're learning two things here. One is fetch and one is drop, okay? And those two commands can be whatever you want, but we're teaching the dog to hold something and we're also teaching them to release something in the same drill. Good boy, Blazer load. Good boy, let's get all this stuff off the table. We don't need it yet. Off the table, don't need it yet. Good boy. All right, so this is one of our client dogs, Blazer. He is in, we've just started the fetch process last week. He's only been through it for a week now. So he's a good dog to demonstrate what we're doing uh, to start the whole fetch and drop process. Now, his commands are fetch and also give, okay? So give is his release command. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use one hand to open his mouth and the other one to put our hand in there and say fetch while we do it, right? Fetch fetch and guys he's been through a week of this so he's starting to look very good actually for a week but usually the dogs are going to be wrestling around wrestling around so you just need to get fetch for a few seconds right fetch and then drop right so you can say drop or give or dead or whatever your command is his is actually give so i messed him up there right be consistent okay so we're going to use this hand again open fetch fetch and all i'm looking for is a little win here fetch fetch good give and then open it up like that okay so again we're teaching two things right good boy we're teaching fetch and we're also teaching drop right or give or dead they are different commands but they have the same action behind them okay so whatever your commands are just keep them consistent so for my short hairs i like to say hold and drop some people like to say fetch and give it doesn't matter right so pick your command what i would suggest doing is having one command to not only take something but also hold it i hear a lot of people saying fetch and then hold why do that when you can just say fetch and it mean both of them right or just say hold and it mean both of them shorten it condense it keep it simple guys keep your command simple so we're going to do this again here i want him standing up good boy yeah there's a lot of tweety birds running around <laughs> what do you think buddy okay so we're going to do this fetch good fetch we're going to open his mouth fetch and again the dogs will wig out the first time you do this. So you just wanna hold it right here, fetch, give, right? Good boy, good boy, yep, good boy. So one thing I haven't pointed out yet is having them on the table helps not only with your lower back, right? I don't wanna be bent over doing this on the ground with the dog all the time. I wanna be up on a table, I wanna be upright, and it also gives them a place to stay. He's a little less likely to run off on me if he's on top of a table. So before we uh, start with the hands and whatnot, we're gonna walk him around a little bit. Here, good boy, we're gonna walk him around. Here, good, here, Blazer, here. Good boy, good boy. Just let him get used to the table a little bit before we get going, good. And he really wants to jump down right now and run around to all this stuff I just knocked off the table. But this is how you start, right? Use one hand to open the mouth and the other to place inside and say fetch, okay? And then hold it firmly right there. Just fetch, good, fetch. And at first, again, your dog's gonna be all over the place. So you just wanna say fetch, get a few seconds, and then give, 
Good, open it up, okay? So you're really overextending, over-exaggerating that give or drop, right? The release word, okay? Ultimately, I want him to not only be stationary, he has to know he can move around with fetch, not just stay in one place, because right now we've only been doing it in one place. Fetch, so I'm gonna walk this way. Fetch, good boy, fetch, good. And this is why your dog needs to be used to the table. Fetch, before you start walking them around. Fetch, or doing the fetch process. Good, fetch, I'm gonna walk him this way, fetch, no, fetch, good boy, here, good boy, fetch, good boy, yeah. Okay, so that's a really good intro for him, a really good intro session on fetch, right? He's taking it, and again, he's been doing it for about a week, a week and a half, he's accepting the hand, and he's starting to get a general concept of what give means, our release, because we're over-exaggerating that hand, opening that hand while we say give conditioning him to give, meaning open, right? Bah. All right, everybody, that's a great introduction for our fetch process, and as you saw on the table here with Blazer, we like to teach our dogs very hands-on, manually showing them fetch, and then manually showing them drop, okay? Or whatever your commands are, just keep them short, concise, and simple, and keep them consistent. That's the most important. Keep your own commands consistent, but they can be whatever you want. For my personal dogs, I like to say hold and drop right? But you may have something else you like. Do whatever you want with your commands. It's your dog. Don't let anybody tell you what your command should be or what your dog should do. As a matter of fact, it all comes down to your objectives. But that's a great introduction to fetch. We're going to show the next part in progressing fetch on the next video. Stay with us, guys.